everything is now in place. You have all of the pieces that you need to figure this out and survive the mind kill. You don't need me anymore. Audience, Hunter, welcome back to Receiver. I'm pushing for this to be the finale, so uh, this video, liminal and above only. Sleepwalker and below is being edited out of the final video. Yay. You gave me a magazine with nothing in it. What's wrong with you? Yep, okay. Well, I mean, at least now we know that it's loaded. I really, really hate putting that in my pocket when it's still loaded. And that is why I take all the bullets out, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's see what we got today. Uh, ceiling turret and a ground turret, both in an apartment. All right, how about the other side? Actually, better yet, how about in here? Mm-hmm. Down below, perhaps? Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, no, I see lights down there. I don't trust that for a second. There's a drone this way. And a turret. You don't see shit, don't look at me. I'm in, I, 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 I haven't showered in eight episodes. I would imagine our guy hasn't, honestly. I mean, think about it. <laughs> have you seen a shower? Actually, we have. Actually, we, we've searched multiple showers. Finally! God, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Pulverize that one. Hey, buddy. While waiting for the other branches to agree on the requirements for the new M9 pistol, the Air Force decided to conduct their own trials and decided on the Beretta 92. Uh, all done, right? Wrong. The Army rejected the Air Force testing, claiming the Flyboys had no idea how to properly test reliability in mud and sand. To be fair, they're probably right. The Army was perfectly happy with their 1911s, so when they conducted their own trials, they found that none of the new pistols were good enough and tried to shut the whole program down. The Air Force still wanted their new pistols and got the DOD to force the Army to conduct yet another test and choose something. After further testing, the Army reluctantly admitted that the Beretta 92 and the Sig Sauer 226 might be adequate. Now, the Sig scored better, but Beretta named a lower price and won the contract. After seven years and millions of taxpayer dollars, the U.S. finally got its new service pistol, the Beretta M9. Uh, the U.S. also got three more years of congressional investigations to determine how we managed to screw this whole thing up so bad. Hey, hey, hey. All right, now spend more money investigating how we messed Nice. Hello. All right, yeah, spend money deciding what pistol we're gonna use. Uh-huh, now spend more money trying to figure out what took us so damn long. <laughs> I like this guy, he's got really informative stuff to say about a lot of these guns. What do you think he does his research? Are you kidding me with this thing? Finally! Oh my god! Like, for reals? <sighs> the, it does not want to feed in. This thing keeps stove piping on me. That is what stove pipe is, right? What is you? Okay. I thought it was something in that room. There's a sleeping turret right there. I thought that we, I thought it was guarding a tape. 
Which one was stove piping again? That's the secret notes. Uh, here it is, stove pipe. Ah, uh, now stove piping is the um, when it's only partially ejected. Okay. I apologize. I used the incorrect terminology. Let me rephrase. It refuses to feed in a new round. You gotta keep pumping the fucking thing. All objects originate from the mind. It is only through systems of interconnected thoughts, feelings, and sensations that new knowledge is created. It is only from desires and beliefs that actions are taken. People reflexively react to these ideas and execute their roles in making objects exist where they are found in the world. It is possible with great focus to shortcut this process. In this way, everything you see in this world is a shadow projected from reality A, the true reality of the mind. Right, well, let me tell you about the reality. You see what I was just doing there? I was pulling the slide back multiple times until the clip was empty. Every other pullback, a bullet did not fly out of the gun, which means 50% of the time, this thing isn't gonna feed a new round. Watch. Didn't feed. Fed. Oh my god. The failures are now so damn predictable, it's annoying. Where is that light coming from? There is a light in there, unless it's a really low flying drone. Not a clue, okay. Could be a dead drone. Could be a dead one. Who knows? Anyway, glad we came down here now. Alright, now we gotta hang out with our good friend, the dead turret. He's not really a friend, though, is he? For realsies? Right on time! Thank Christ for that one. Okay. Careful now. Wait. Oh god, that's an armored one. What's it doing on Limnal? I thought those only appeared on Awake. We on we've only seen them on Awake. Okay, barring any um, sleeping turrets, this room is now clear. Like I said, barring any sleeping turrets. This guy doesn't count. I already got him. <laughs> He's Sleepy boys. Sleepy, sleepy turret. Ooh, there you go. Oh, nice! A non-broken clip. What a coincidence. That was my last one. Hmm. Fifteen. <laughs> the most unreliable Beretta M9. Don't get me wrong, I love this gun. Why do you think uh, Hunter Reviews has it? Like that. This is the gun Hunter uses in Hunter Reviews whenever he uses a gun, and it's not Star Wars. <laughs> Ooh. No. Oh!
kind of panicked there. I shot its taser off and I killed it. <laughs> Going all out with the armored turrets today for some reason. Why'd I panic? <laughs> Something else up in the car. Ah, uh, ceiling turret. Armored ceiling turret. Let's see if we can get an angle on it. <gasps> no! <sighs> I forgot this is the most unreliable gun in the game. The irony is, it shouldn't be. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm freaking out a little. What about it? What of it? Wait a minute. No, that won't work. We need a light switch on that side to turn the lights on. I'd love to have some lights while I'm trying to... Nice! Got him! Yo! Fire that thing, like, once! Whoop! Whoa! 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 Yeah, no, it ne- it, do it doesn't get any more comfortable. You, uh, you made me waste a lot of bullets there, friend. Got anything for me? No? Maybe I'll ask your friend upstairs. Well, I mean, you're also upstairs, but whatever. <laughs> God, you guys! What a rest! I shot your bullets! And I took your bullets! Drone! God, its sensor is dead. It is dead. 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 Dead sensor dead. Make sure there's a bullet in there. Thank you. I just ejected it onto the floor. Don't tr don't trust the damn thing this gun does. <laughs> Alright, just take full stock of the ammunition. Uh, number one is basically it. There we go. <laughs> it's reloading with 50 extra steps. Can you imagine if guns were this unreliable in every video game? tape. There it is. This tape is designed to test your focus in the face of distraction. Maintain focus on your breathing. Okay. How did you do? A little bit better than if last time, thank you. your attention wandered, that is normal. Just notice that without judgment. Let's try again. Good job. Why did you take the clip out? Why would I do that? Why would I even think to do that? There's no way of knowing where I'm going, but I'm not gonna slowing. Okay, the, when I pulled it back that one time, it actually did load around in there. Let's kill a drone. Where did it end up? Also, can we please get some lights on in here? Is that him? Oh, no. No way. He's behind the box. You ass.
So I learned something about drones. They have a battery pack towards the rear of the thing. And that's why he's sparking like that. Half the time, this gun doesn't feed a new round. <laughs> Everybody just remember that half the time, this gun doesn't feed a new round. Oh, nice! Come on. Admit it. That was a pretty good shot. Check for anything else around here. We got the arcade layout next if there's no tape. That's a little better, but I feel like we could do with a lot more lighting. <laughs> like... The lighting in here is an OSHA violation waiting to happen. <laughs> hey, we still got a bullet. <sighs> hey, you want to check the top of the shelves here for secret tapes again? Nothing. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Ceiling, friend. Ceiling, friend. Let's see what else is in this area. At least one turret, given the movement patterns. <laughs> Shit, I missed. I didn't miss that time. I thought I heard the music that goes off when a tape is nearby. Now that's a stovepipe. Just stove piped on us. But what happened to the drone? He's up there. He's got no sensor. He can't hurt us. He can't hurt us anymore. But no, I need this this light. Give me some lights on this side, please. Way better. Thank you. Oh, now you decide to feed a new round. Okay, how come you're reliable now? Maybe you just had to break the damn thing in. Nice. Another good clip. Uh, I could pull the ammo out of this one. For now. Okay. <sighs> the most unreliable gun. Well, I guess we're doing arcade. Upstairs. We're, we're noting we're one tape away from uh, the next rank. And if we mess this up, I'm going to be very cross. I hit that for reals. It's a drone. It's a drone. It's a drone, and it's on the outside. 
kind of want to go to the apartment complex. Anyone else? Or maybe up above? Just to see if we can't cheat our way to a few more tapes. Is there a way up higher? I don't know if there is, actually. That's a drone. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, there is. Okay, so we didn't check around the highest level. This way. Aha. Uh -huh. That's one of the reasons why over there. So yeah, check it after every single shot, please. Oh god, I have no clue where this one is. Moving over here, though, should keep us out of its field of view. I think we're above it. <laughs> I know where he is. Oh. Cheeky fuck. Okay, now I definitely know where he is. He's in the... There he is. Okay, he won't bother us now. Oh, it was a ceiling! Okay. No bullets. Damn it. Let's see if that turret over there was guarding anything. Couple bullets. Yeah, take those. No tapes. Welcome to the receivers. We skip leg day every day. <laughs> Welcome to the receivers where we skip leg day every day. I don't know what the hell was wrong with me. That tape. That's a tape. And the door is closed. Are you kidding me with this? Nice! Okay. Okay, that door is closed for some reason. But, that also means another thing. If we could get above the arcade... Okay, so this is below where we just were. Which means this... is below the walkway. So, we need another way up from here. Let's try down there. Like, come on! I already saw the tape, you can't hide it from me. Wait, this, this, this doesn't help. What was I thinking? I was thinking I want to kick that drone into the corner. So I did. So I did! <laughs> it didn't like that. <laughs> And this, the bridge. On said bridge, a tape. Oh god, 
job what I wouldn't give for stairs right now. Any old kind of stairs. Is that drone still at the window? Yes, he is. There's also one down there. Tape. I'm going for it. The Beretta M9 was born to be a movie star. <sighs> when filmmakers saw its Italian curves, iconic open slide, high capacity, and large screen presence, they started casting it in every action movie. It plays a lead role in films like uh, Die Hard, uh, The Matrix, Lethal Weapon, Terminator, and even Sharknado. I'm surprised you got the rights when to say all these things. When a film director asks for a gun without giving any further instruction, <laughs> the prop department will probably hand them a Beretta M9. Despite its perfect score on the silver screen, it has some mixed reviews in the field. Many complain that they accidentally flip the slide-mounted safety switch with racking the slide, or have trouble wrapping their hands around the thick grip. There was also a little problem with the off-brand magazines that the army provided in Iraq. Turns out, they didn't mix well with sand. But despite its quirks, thousands of soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines bet their lives on this workhorse of a pistol, and find that it gets the job done. Most of the time. It's an okay gun. I love it. Okay. We're back on awake. Could this be the one? God, let's hope so. I'm hoping that we spawn in and there's like ten tapes. Oh, God damn it, this disgusting thing again? What's that on the TV? The same weird looping thing. Okay. Hammer back halfway. Now open that up. Once again, if I was patient enough, I would replace the. They were all good? Huh. Okay. And then, uh, we're gonna keep that not ready to fire. I said no! What did I just say, game? Okay. <sighs> breathe. I don't know what they said, breathe. This is the last level, let's not mess this up like we did last time by panicking and jumping off of a roof. And having our legs crackle like a bunch of tissue paper. To be fair, it was a two-story drop. Would it break your legs? Yeah, yeah, it'll break your legs. Will it kill you? Probably not. two-story drop probably won't kill you. It'll hurt a ton, but come on, let me limp around the level. I'll drag myself. Hell, we're on awake difficulty. Let me keep going. Oh, great. That tipped somebody off. Just you? Okay. Yeah, this is the noise you weren't able to experience during the broken tape. <sighs> what? Two beeps? Three beeps? Uh-oh. I think I know where they are.
walked on this ladder. Looking for lights. Yep, there they are. Okay, not going down there. But the reason we never go down that ladder is because I never have an angle in which to hit them. I'm always extremely vulnerable on that ladder. It's an eight ball. Is this the hospital? It is. It is the hospital. camera. And there's a drone out. <laughs> okay, it didn't hit the glass hard enough to break it. I did just go back outside, though. Let's try the other way. Maybe that'll be more fun. I just sort of saw the apartment over here, and I was like, yeah, let's go for it. Three tapes. Okay, now the whole area is filled with blue light and that's freaking me out. Because the turrets and everything have the blue light. I'm just gonna go down here and take a look. drone. Oh, it's struggling. Yeah, we, we just hit that th Whoa! Actually, no, it's not even struggling. It's in two different pieces. It's being held together by a wire. Oh, it just doesn't know what to do with it, so... Really? <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I don't hear anything. Wait. Hold on. No. Shut up a second. That does sound like something. We're not going to be able to get into that bathroom without attracting a ton of attention, though. This guy doesn't have the taser. I'm not worried about him. What I am worried about is whatever is around this corner. That's a camera. Okay, who's ready for tape number one? Let's see who shows up. Oh wait, here's good? No, it's not good. Uh, this location's kinda neutral. Tape is close. Oh, don't tell me it's above us. If it's above us, I'm gonna cry. Hey, buddy. I see you got two bits. Yeah, just still right there. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna get you. Here I go, getting you. Got you. Oh, 
Okay. So I see what's going on here. It wants us to climb the ladder. Step right here. Kinda. Not really, though. Okay. Two. Okay. I think we got one left. Don't hold me to that. I haven't actually been keeping track. <gasps> okay. Dead end, but there's a tape here. Tell you what, we're just gonna... There were two left. Yeah, keep this empty. This is the first insight. In order to fully awaken, you must accept it. Okay. Until now, you thought you were playing a game. That you could turn it off. Now, this idea has been implanted by the threat. In fact, the threat has expanded to the reality outside of the game. We call this Reality C. The threat has been influencing what you see and hear until you can't tell what is fictional and, and what is real. This is the first of three insights. After you accept the third insight, you will hear a tone and you will awaken. Okay. Don't mess up. We are this close to awakening. Also, we can probably put more bullets in now. The only reason I didn't go in that um, room back there was because there was a drone and the gun wasn't loaded. All right, let's get him. Battery pack on the back of the drone. There's always turrets in this warehouse layout. Or not. Hmm. Huh. Balloon. That's a freebie. <sighs> a second tape. Holy crap. Okay, hang on. Yeah, don't trust this game for a second, folks. <laughs> if you have accepted that the threat is real, there is hope that you can hear insight too and awaken to your true nature. Okay. Reality A transcends and overlaps realities B and C. This is how the threat has spread to all aspects of reality. Accepting that the threat is real in the world outside the game may seem difficult because through an inversion of values, the threat has led you to believe that reality C is more real than reality A. This is how it subverts your defenses and attacks you where you are vulnerable. To awaken, you have to accept that Reality A expands beyond your life outside of the game. Open your mind's eye and you can see it. This luminous reality is where you have constructed the mind tech you need to defend yourself and combat the threat. Only the final insight remains. Once you accept it, you will hear a tone, and you will awaken. Okay. Here we are again. One tape away. Thank God part seven wasn't... Tape seven. Thank God tape seven wasn't the ending, right? <laughs> There's 
stupid thing didn't record audio. This is, yeah, that's way safer. <laughs> Practice gun safety, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. With luck, this will be the final room. God, I hope we could go back the other way. <laughs> Or at least, is there a way in up above? No, that door is very much closed. Ugh. What about the middle floor here? Oh wait, that's a dead end, okay. It took me a second to remember. And this warehouse, I think, is also a dead It is. So we go up or we go through the arcade. Well, guess we're going up. <laughs> Can I like poke that? Dude, just reach out and poke it. <laughs> also check this tower. We may not even need to go either direction. Okay, I heard a noise. I got really excited there for a second. Well, here we are again. Back at the starting point. going back to the hospital layout and I think I know how we can make it a little bit easier on ourselves okay my plan didn't work sorry guys I thought we could peer over the edge and shoot the drone you know which one is that one Or, hear me out, the glass can cooperate for once. <laughs> oh, hells yeah, all right. So far, so good. That's another camera down there. And there's another door on the other side. All right, careful now. You know, I think we can ignore this the camera. Oh no, we can't. Okay, I gotta go back out there. All right directly underneath it. Blind spot, fucker! <laughs> ha! Thought I saw something on this bed here. No. Thought it was like a secret tape or something. Maybe we could call the elevator. Okay, if we can't call the elevator, we got There's no button! What?! There is no elevator button! But have... This way's a dead end! We have to do the arcade! <sighs> Shit, I really didn't want to do the arcade. Unless, unless... We want to risk the ladder. I don't really want to risk the ladder. 
And that's why. There's definitely drones down there, and we're super vulnerable on a ladder. Oh, look if I had this. Ah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll take it. You know, it seems like they can run fast, but receivers clearly skip leg day. How about that one drone kill, huh? That was satisfying as hell. I think it's a camera. There's definitely a drone in there. Where, though? Up above. It's up above. There it is. <laughs> nope! <laughs> you know the drill! <laughs> oh, you beauty! Did you break yourself? Did you fall down there? You piece of shit. What's left? Uh, he mostly just broke his propeller. He can't fly, but he has his taser still on. <sighs> There's a ladder. We could go up. I'm thinking we're gonna wanna. But first. Okay, clearly that's a turret room. Let's not touch that yet. And... Not blind spot. He's the only responder, though. And he's very down for the count. I got this. Don't worry. Am I still hearing... Oh, you're a camera. I thought you were a light for a second. insulted do you think the threat is that I'm just standing in front of the camera while hacking the camera? <laughs> it must be looking at that like this piece of shit! Huh? <laughs> Very funny gun, come on. <laughs> Always the kidder, come on, don't embarrass me. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I think it's actually empty now, so... Okay. look around the room. No. I'm not seeing any tapes. I'm not hearing any either. Too bad. I was really hoping the arcade would be our last romp. Do you hear that? I hear a tape. It's very close. <laughs> Newfound motivation. I will conquer this room.
We cannot lose here. I hit something. Okay, the hitbox on the floor is a little finicky. Stand by. I got an idea. It didn't work. <laughs> Where's the tape, by the way? Is that it? No, it's right there. The tape's just sitting there. Go! If you accept that the threat is real, and that reality A is the true reality, then you are ready for the final insight. We have sent you this message to warn and prepare you, and you have listened. In reality C, <gasps> you sat in your chair at your computer, yet in reality A, your astral self has struggled and overcome many challenges. Open me. your mind's eye to see the mind tech you have built. They are heavy and intricate with each component perfectly formed and in its right place. Functional, resilient. You stand ready to use these tools against the threat. In order to awaken, you have to accept this final insight. Okay. These struggles in Reality A are real and have fully prepared you. Reality B has been this message. This message was a systemic process. This process was an initiation. You have completed this initiation. Huh? You are now a receiver. Ugh. Well, there's that tone. I didn't know it was gonna be a dial tone. Oh. Uh, okay, it just closed out of the game. I guess that's it then. That's receiver two, ladies and gentlemen. I, uh... I'm gonna... I'm gonna get some food. This has been a weird one. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and uh, hit the like button really hard with your head. Not too hard, though. Gonna need that mind intact for the mind kill. This is the time we have for bad fun. This is the time we have for bad fun. This is the time we have for bad fun. This is the time we have.